again everybody today um, I'm actually going to be uh, kind of stripping that car down a little bit because I have now this is the main part of the gasifier right here and it is pretty much ready for me to sit it in the car and see where it's going to where I'm going to have to put it um, I still I want to use this for the ash dump and uh, I don't know which way to turn it because I don't know for sure which way it's going to go. I think this part with the hump on it here is going to go toward the back of the car. I think, but I don't know. That part may go to the back of the car. One way to find out is to uh, get the car in a condition where I can try it and see how it's going to fit. So first off, we need to take some stuff off of this car. All right, so you can see I've already already got one screw out or one bolt, I guess, out. Um, I'll take this trunk off. Uh, there was wires, of course, up to the backup lights because the backup lights are actually in the trunk themselves, and also the cable that went to the trunk latch was right up here. It was held on with fishing line. I don't remember doing that. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, I'm going to take the trunk off. And then we're going to try to get this back window out. I kind of wouldn't mind taking it out without breaking it. But if it breaks, it breaks. Um, likelihood of actually getting it out all the way without breaking it is probably pretty low. But we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to work, but I have a sawzall blade stuck in through there to maybe cut that rubber. Now the problem I'm seeing on the sides here, I don't think I can get it in there, but let's see if we can just go across the bottom. I really would rather not have a mess to clean up but if I gotta clean it up it would make it faster. So here get this thing out of the way. I don't know if this is gonna actually work to cut that rubber that type of window sealant or if it's gonna break the window. Either way we get the window out. Well, the window's out. There we go. So, uh, that was easy. Okay, so the bottom part is detached. But when I got in the bind, just like I said it would happen over there, as soon as I got in the bind over here, it went up and it uh, cracked it. So, all right, well, that was a lot easier. So, let's see if I can get rid of all this and uh, then go from there. All right, so as you can see, this is the springs for the trunk. There's just three little screws holding them here, little 10 millimeter screws. Uh, the speakers, they just pop out. You push this little thing right here, and they just pop out. Uh, pretty easy to take apart, and I guess they made it easy to assemble uh, for the uh, assembly line, so it makes it easy to take apart, too. But, all right, now take this other one out right here. Hold 
do stuff with one hand. And that piece is going to drop when I take this out. Maybe it won't. Something else might be holding it. There we go. Okay. There's the hood springs. They can go over here with their buddy, the hood. Now, see if we can just make a uh, pickup truck out of it. Standing right in here with all this broken glass. This seems like a very good idea. <laughs> okay. See if we can turn this from a Cavalier to an S10. So for right now, I'm going to leave this support here because I think I can lean the gasifier, or actually weld the gasifier right to that, right there, and it will go straight down into that spare tire weld. I may want to clean all that out. But I might get the gasifier and try to sit it in there and just see what it's going to look like. So just some kind of an idea. The hopper, of course, is not going to be that tall. It's going to be cut down. Uh, that's not even the barrel I'm going to use. But that's uh, just for testing it out. Um, I probably... See, there's a hole, a drain hole, down there in the spare tire well. Uh, what I'll end up doing probably is spinning the whole thing around, putting the heat exchanger up here on this side and then uh, the rest of the gasifier toward the back and uh, yeah there should be plenty of room for uh, filter I'll probably run a cooling rack over the roof of course there is going to have to be a airtight bulkhead between the gasifier and passenger compartment uh, so I'll probably take it to about here I'm thinking I'm leaving this because this is structural and there's nothing structural left in here so I need all I can get uh, but yeah this is a structural piece too it links the struts together but anyway yeah this thing's kind of rocking back and forth so uh I have to take it out of there because I don't want it to fall over. Uh, I may just take the barrel off of it and leave the gas fire in it because that's where it's going to go. But anyway, yeah, I guess uh, there is the start of the uh, gasified Cavalier. Anyway, I guess that's going to be about it for this video. Appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.